Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about our kimono wedding photoshoot experience. Cakes was in Tokyo for a couple of weeks in March, so we decided to take a wedding photo here. Since we're going to have a wedding party and everything in the US, we wanted to do like a Japanese version of wedding stuff, but we're not going to have a party here. We wanted to have just a you know, nice photo. So uh, I found a good photo studio in Shinjuku. It was very convenient. It was it's so close to the station. The studio is called Studio Aqua. They do wedding photos and stuff like other photo shooting too. We decided to do the cheapest plan, which is still expensive. It's not cheap, but it cost total cost. $470 about about that. Your man nana saying yeah. So it's not cheap, right? But compared to other studios or average price, it's a really good deal. If you want to spend more money for the photo shoot, you can get a better plan. But we wanted to good minimum. So the deal is $470 and uh, that includes one hour photo shoot, uh, one kimono for each person, like uh, for that couple, one kimono, one hakama, and uh, makeup, hair, that's only for girls, and uh, one CD-ROM, it has all the data from the photo shoot. Um, it was like a almost 200 photos, and one booklet of one of the picture, so we had to choose one photo from 200. Like this. Nothing fancy but it's really nice. So if you want to have a nice photo album, you can add more and you can choose more expensive plants. So you have nice booklet for your parents or you know that kind of deal. But we wanted to make our own photo book with our western style wedding pictures. So we just wanted to have data. So yeah. And the kimono thing, if you want to spend more money and choose kimono from more options then um, this plan is not enough if you don't want to pay any additional fee then you have only four options like four kimonos the studio has so many nice kimonos but if you don't want to pay additional fee then you have only four options and i was totally fine with it because I thought this green kimono looks really nice, right? I didn't need to pay for this, it was included in the, in the plan. But if you want to choose something else, um, each kimono costs like 500 to 900 or over 1000. This is not buying, you, you wear this kimono just for one hour photo shoot. Isn't it ridiculous? You are not buying it. <laughs> so I was like, no way, I'm not gonna pay that much. So yeah, I, I chose this. Uh, and for guys, uh, if you don't want to pay extra, then this one is the the plan, like a black kimono and a striped hakama. Very basic, but looks fine. And the cakes looks amazing in kimono. Yeah, I'm impressed. It looks really good. I want him to wear a kimono every day. Well, I mean, he looks good every day, but look at this. He looks amazing, right? <laughs> he looks more like a kabuki actor. Anyway, so the process is uh, for kimono. Well, of course, you can choose the dress photo shoot too, but uh, we, we wanted to do the kimono one. So kimono photo shoot, uh, I had to go to the studio before the photo shoot day. And at that time, the cakes was not here yet, so I had to go to the studio by myself. And then we, I had a kind of one hour meeting with the studio people and uh, I chose a plan and uh, signed some paper, did some paperwork, and that's it. So on the photo shoot day, we choose kimono whatsoever and uh, hair set, makeup, one hour photo shoot, yeah. So that's the kind of process. So on the photo shoot day, I made an appointment at 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. is the photo shoot start time. 
So since I had to put makeup like a professional makeup on and a hair set, so I had to be at the studio at 9 a.m. And since Cakes doesn't need to wear makeup, he <laughs> came to the studio around 10:30, and uh, we started a photo shoot at 11. And then after the photo shoot, we went back to the lobby and the photographer showed us all the pictures. It was like a 200 photos and we had to choose one photo for this book. That's it. And I think we could leave the studio by 1 or 1.30 p.m. That was the whole process. And I, I said the cakes didn't need to put makeup on, but if you want to put some makeup on to look better in photos, you can. But that I think that costs extra money. I posted one picture on Instagram, but I didn't post a lot of pictures there because I wanted to make this video. So if you are interested, please follow me on Instagram, HealthyTJG. And I have another account on Instagram. It's new. It's new. It's brand new. I started it recently. It's more like a girly stuff, um, focusing on makeup or hair stuff or nails and stuff. It's called Makeup Hype Beast. So if you are interested, you can follow me there too. Um, I think I talked about everything I wanted to share with you and hope you enjoy it. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye!